Hello, it's Sarah. And today I actually have a haul video. I haven't done a haul in a while. And I was, it was a clay kind of stuff for making clay tiles. So um, I spent a little more than I thought I would, but I haven't been shopping a lot. I've been really trying to use what I have. I've used up quite a bit of the tiles. Um, I'm working on this project here. You guys know I had that, uh, the Martha Stewart pearl paint, and I kind of thought it was a pink, but it was, it is actually red, because when you put it with other red things, it really does, um, show up as red. So this isn't, this is just kind of plain. I pulled all my red tiles that I could find, old and new, like, look at this one. This one says, you're a hoot. I don't know if I'll use that, but, um, just wanted to see, get an idea what I was doing. It'll be a love theme uh, mosaic. So I, I love this one. This one turned out cool. Anywho, I'm going to do that. So I, I needed more white clay. That's what I needed. Went to Michael's and they didn't have it. So I got a few other things at Michael's. I wanted the, um, the silver, uh, not leaf. This is actually just metallic because when I make these little tiles, let's see if I have one. You know, I do. I did the the line in between, and I was uh, see how I painted them. And the, this is years ago when I took the class with Lori. We painted the tile on the edge. When I did my tutorial, I just rubbed gold paint on the edges, and then, well, this one has the gold lines in the middle. But I wanted to get some silver, so I got a Uniball one, which I love. I have the the gold Uniball too, so. Now I have both of those. This gold is like a really rich gold, but I like the um, I like this one. This is the metallic in the um, jelly roll, so I got one of those in silver too because I didn't have one of them. And it's just it's a different, a little different texture, a little bit of different color. And then the Recollections had one too, and this is actually a medium point. And I figured I'd try that because that actually. I like that too. So I bought three different silver pens because I have a lot of gold. Um, so I'll put them right in there. Uh, what else? So at Michael's I got, I'm, I'm working on the, I, I want to make, and I have these two. These are kind of the beginnings. I baked them already. But um, Lori also taught a class that was um, considered a mosaic quilt. And I've always loved quilts, and I tried quilts. I made one quilt. I finished one quilt, I should say, because I have the top of another one that I never finished. But quilting is very exact, and it didn't. I didn't like it because I am not an exact. I'm a good enough. But anyway, I think I can make some clay quilt squares. So you would basically put a square on the bottom of this, and then you could do actually you could do all squares stacked. Or whatever I put a heart on top of this one and this one I just did um, circles and I was just playing I played with the um, with different colors of clay and different textures that I had so um, some of them I like some I don't but I was like I said I was just seeing and then you can embed beads around them and um, definitely the mica powders and um, gems so I did a little, you know, I mean, not to say I won't use these, but I didn't put the square on the bottom, so we'll see. She didn't always put the square on the bottom. I could use these on top of a box, maybe, or something like that. But anyway, um, I was looking for, um, so anyway, this is going to be what I'm going to put my quilt on. I think this would make a really nice platform for the quilt, because it almost looks like a lacy edge to it, you know. So you could picture these tiles on here. I guess I'm going to have to make them, I think I could put, you know, like three rows of three I can't do. I have to make them smaller and figure something out. I'll make, I wanted to make three rows of three and then maybe I'll have a trim down the edge because this is actually rectangular, but I'll figure it out. Um, these are only $3.99 and I think it's a great surface to do these little um, mosaics on. So I got one of them with that in mind. Also at Michael's, they have their um, stamps on sale. I don't know if this is actually the one. I had these out already. I was looking at them. Uh, but this was $3.99, and it was round, which is what I wanted. And I like these, um, the recollections. I have a few other of this style, which it's like the, um, the cushiony. can't get it out. It's like foam. The top part is foam, and then it's the deep etched red rubber underneath. But I like these, like when you put these in the clay, 
you can really push down and get a good etching into the clay um, with these. And I love this stamp specifically because you can see there's one pattern, two pattern, three pat. There's so many patterns that when I cut them into circles, I'll be able to make, I can make one whole um, tile with this maybe more I'll switch it around and then these are just great borders this is like one two three four tiles right there if you cut them apart so I just really like this one and then I got um, this one which is a um, a board another border one and I, I actually didn't really need this when I got home I kind of figured yeah I didn't really need it but it's just different I want to see what this looks like this is a depth this teardrop one is real different it looks a little more I don't know. I, I wasn't. I didn't want geometric. I wanted. I'm looking for different. Um, these are pretty cool. We'll see how that looks in the clay because that could be all individual tiles. So I got that was around three ninety nine too. Also at Michaels, I got this. I wanted some wings. I knew I was out of my Tim Holtz wings, and this is a really nice. This is eight two four six, so four sets of wings. There's eight wings in here and two crowns. And this is, I would definitely have used a coupon on here. I don't know if it came off that, but um, it's expensive. It's not, it's $10 about, you know, eight to 10. Um, I got that because I'm going to be doing, I want to try and make some houses and some shrines. I have a lot of stuff I still have yet to make. Uh, what else at Michael's? I had to get, I'm not finding the Weld Bond glue. This is Weld Bond. And this is what I use on my mosaics. And this is what, when I was working with my glass mosaics, like over there. I'm going to go ahead and show you my little snowman. See if you can see them. That is made with all glass that I cut um, into shapes. Like I drew it onto the wood first, and then I cut the glass to fit. And I glued that with the weld bond because it's glass. I don't know if the clay needs, and then I grouted it. So I used grout. So that's a true mosaic with the glass tile and the grout. But with the tiles, with these um, clay tiles, I'm not grouting anything and I'm not, um, it's, it's clay. It's very light in comparison to the glass as well. So not think and see, I just like this. It says bonds most anything, wood tile, glass, and more. Um, and this doesn't say anything. It just says water-based dries clear, but it is made for mosaics. It's made by made by mosaic mercantile. I just figured I'd give it a shot. I needed some type of clay, um, and so I got that. Not fine. I'm sure I could get this online, but I just haven't ordered it, and I wanted it to do now. Um, and then I also went to the mosaic section in my Michaels, and they had some cool stuff. This was actually on clearance, and this is the type of glass that I used to do that snowman. It's just a sheet of glass, but these were already cut into squares, and I like the red because I'll put them in my red project. Um, $1.99 on clearance. These black iridescent ones were $1.99 on clearance. There's different sizes, they're squares, and they have that iridescent coating on them, so you can see the green and the purple shining and I use a ton of black so I liked them a lot. I decided to get some mirror, just straight mirror, plain mirror, cut into um, shapes. Let's see if it gives a size. Doesn't. But it's a fairly small size so good for fillers and I think that would, I'm really thinking I'm putting this in the red one too. My red one's going to be a love theme so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with some stuff. Um, then this was my big splurge because I want to say this was around $7.99. Oh, I had it at Michael's. Um, anywho, um, I just really liked it. Let's see. Adornment Regal. I think I got, my coupon came off the Tim Holtz. Yeah, this was $7.99. Color Mirror. Um, it's iridescent. It's like cut like a gem. You know, it's got those beveled edges. I mean, I couldn't resist it. They're so pretty. And I just think throwing a couple of them in the mosaic would be really super cool. So that was in the mosaic department, and I got a few more. These were all on clearance, so around $2.50, $2.99. This was new. I got another pack of these and a pack of the blue. And I'm going to cut, let me see, I opened one. I'm going to cut these off. Let's see, I cut this one. Cut these. 
Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna cut the actual, like, the stringing piece off of the bead, of the tile, or whatever, and lay them flat on the mosaic. Like, just literally glue it down to the wood and use it as a tile. I'm not even gonna embed it in the clay. I really, I got two packs of these. I love these. These are so pretty. They have like enameling around this flower and this flower, and then they're just um, gems on the others. And it's like a, it's kind of like a bronze color, but I love, love, love them. Um, so that was everything from, oh no, and I got this because I don't have just straight black. This is actually, I have the ones with the, um, clear, like the, you know, regular clear, like a diamond in the middle, but this is just black. So I wanted that. That's the only thing I saw different there. So that's all I got at Michael's. And then I just needed to go get the clay at AC Moore. And I filmed this twice, so I wonder if I, I don't think I did talk about these yet. Um, Sculpey 3, hopefully, I mean, I'll make it again if I did. But Sculpey 3 is what I'm using now for these tiles. I went through mostly all, I had a crap load of clay, not a crap load, a lot of clay um, in a box. Um, unopened that I have gone through now. I've been using what I have. Um, I want to make some more of the tiles for the this one, so I have to make some red ones because I don't I don't usually make red a lot. So I needed white, and I got a couple more black. Now I would recommend the Sculpey Three because it's softer and easier to condition than the Primo, and you're not sculpting with this. You're not really doing anything but cutting it and making a flat tile. So and embedding it with some, um, putting those, um, mica powders on it and stuff. So, and for the price, these are $6.99 at my AC Moore. I think they're $8.99 at Michael's. So they're even cheaper at AC Moore. Um, sure, all of your craft stores have this in this form. Um, so I got that. And then I saw these, which I was very happy about because I have a couple of, um, circle cutters, but the what I have three different ones and I mean that would make a tile see that's the ones I used I used these three shapes and I think I wanted we'll see but I think I wanted them um, to be I wanted um options and actually that one is smaller than that one so that's good and this one is bigger than that one and then this is the only one that I doubled up with and I'm not even sure that it's exactly that size so that was good. And this is a Sculpey, oh no, this is Primo. Primo, yes, yeah, Sculpey Primo um, brand of cutters, cookie cutters. So I got, and that was six, oops, six ninety nine for that. And like I said, I would be using a coupon and getting these little by little if I was you. But I didn't, I just, I went and got what I needed and I should have waited, but um, and then they also have, that was it, and then these stamps I got. I love this. This is butterfly wings. And I have wing stamps, but they're not butter. I don't think I have any butterflies. If I do, they're much smaller, and these are big. And I want to make, like, um, a, uh, a shrine type thing. We'll see. But this is both wings, the opposite wings. And this was about $6.99. These were in the clearance, but I really like this because I told you I love critters. Or, well, these are insects. Ladybug, dragonfly, butterfly. So I love that. And um, I got this clada, which I think I'm going to put in my heart mosaic. My um, I need to turn the heat down on my chicken. But uh, this is the... Um, Clada, and it's with my hands I give my heart crowned with love and I think I could cut the sentiment off and just use that and use the sentiment as like a separate tile so I wanted to play with that but I really my husband's Irish and I'm English Irish German and Welsh just really like the the sentiment of this um, and, I, and I mean it was $2.99 so I got that and I think that's it um, <coughs> I have a lot I want to make still like I said, I'm very, very excited about this. I'm going to make some of these quilt tiles. Um, I still have some gold leafing. I got this, not, not today, but before. This lasts a long time. And definitely use your coupon for this. But I have tons of sheets left in there. Um, 
All right, you guys, so that's my haul, and I hope I'm giving you enough information. I know I, I didn't say it when I stamped my tiles with the ink. I used archival. I've answered a couple of, um, couple people have asked. I should have mentioned that. Um, the ones that I did, the dragonflies and the, butter, and the butterflies and all that, I stamped on the raw clay with archival. Um, but other than that, that's it. And thanks, as always, for watching.